The question is, is Christianity idolatry? There's a large movement in the Jewish world today to try to say that Christianity is good for the non-Jew. And they quote a source that many big rabbis say is proper, that a non-Jew is allowed to believe in the concept of shitufim, partnership. They're allowed to believe that God gave a power, some of his power, and he shared it with a partner, a moon, a star, a spirit. But no, no Jewish source at all says that anyone is allowed to worship that partner. Jews are not allowed to even believe in partnership. The non-Jews, some rabbis say, can believe in it, but no one says that he, anyone can worship the partner. So the question is, is Christianity idolatry? Well, let's ask and find out. Where are you from? New York. Your mother Jewish? No. What's your religion? Uh, I'm technically a Christian. I want to ask you a question about the Christian religion. Sure. They say that a man was crucified 2,000 years ago, and they buried him, and he's going to come back to life. Right? Is that what they say? They say. Let's say that you saw that man, he came back to life, and he's walking down the street here. Would you say, there goes God? Maybe. I don't know. Sure. Sure. But he's a man. Can you explain that to me? I can't. But you'd call him God? Uh, yeah, I assume so. I think so. There's one God who's infinite. Okay. The infinite God is everywhere. That man is not everywhere. Only worship the infinite God. All right. Okay? Noted. Have fun. Nice to talk. The question is, was he God? Yes. You think that, what's his name? Jesus. Jesus. He is God? Yes. Okay, that's Jesus. what I want. Do you pray to him? To Jesus? Yeah. yeah. Do you think that, that that man who was crucified is God? Yeah. You know, he thinks you he's know God. Is that man that was crucified God? Yes. You pray to that man? Yes. You worship that man? Yes, of course. That's idolatry.